Johnny's got another problem Jimmy had an overdose And Susie had another run-in With the one she loves the most Kids got another question When's daddy coming home? You know it's time to face this world Welcome to Underkill TV Still here at Hard Rock Hell Coming to the end of the night, joined with the last great dreamers who finished about just over an hour ago, I'd say, wasn't it? Just about an hour ago? About an hour ago, yes, yeah. We're all dried off now. Yeah. How did you enjoy it? How was it for you? Oh, it was fantastic, yeah. It was probably up there with last year. I think we had a great time, yeah. Thank you. I think it was, you're probably one of the few bands that's been asked to get back, like, every... You've, you've done it this this particular AOR when you were here last year as well, because you were on well, tour. Yeah, we did the main stage um, last year, pulled in, short notice. That's right. And this year, um, it was the fans that told us we were playing. We didn't even know. So. <laughs> Not that we weren't paying attention, but, uh, yeah, we were off in Spain and um, everyone was saying, oh, we'll see you at HRH. AOR and we go, oh no, maybe not. And then we, uh, yeah, turned out we were. So yeah, it's great, good. So, so literally, like th that one, you ended up playing through notice from the fans. Like that's unbelievable. Yeah, well, I like to think the fan power counts, you know. <laughs> so it's fantastic, you know. Yeah, very lucky, yeah, to be here again, actually. So, well, I mean, it's been a bit of a whirl in 12 months for you guys because uh, you've been out. Uh, you constantly seem to be on on the road gigging as well. You know, you're always doing a lot. Um, what's the plans for you guys for the rest of 2018? What's what's coming up? Um, we've got uh, our next album out in four weeks now. I think it'll be 12th of April it's out. 13th. 13th. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Very important, yeah. yeah. Something to do with the Knights Templars, <laughs> but I can't go into that. Okay. <laughs> and, and what's the title of the album then? for? Uh, 13th Floor Renegades, yeah. So we played uh, one of the songs off it tonight. First, yeah. first time we've done that. Um, so it was great to get a new tune out there, and I think it went down well. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to get the new album out. That's just, you know, we're still writing new stuff, and we're just yeah, more excited than we've ever been about what we do. So, you know, long may it continue, and we can keep doing this as long as possible. And I mean, like you, you were saying, we were talk chatting earlier, you, these last couple of albums have been pledge albums and everything, which is the way the music industry's gone these days. Uh, but then anybody, uh, the pledge, I think, now is officially closed. Is there any way, so yes. where can people, this will be for commercial release as well then, so people yes. can get it? Yeah, indeed, um, uh, Amazon, uh, iTunes, through our website. website. You can pre-order it on our own website, Um It's distributed through Cargo, yeah, and... Um, yeah, so possibly in some good shops and some crap shops as well, online, worldwide as well, via the internet and all that, and on vinyl as well, of course. Yeah, CD and vinyl. Yeah. It's going to be released on vinyl. That's cool. That's pretty cool. That sounds great. I had a test press the other day. It sounds fucking fantastic on vinyl. Yeah, great. And, and how does this sound compared to like your previous offerings, like the last one as well, which was also done through Pledge? How does this one sound? compared to it is it, in, it along the same lines it's still classic yeah. yeah i think so yeah i mean yeah it's got the you know the the dreamers sort of signatures there yeah. we worked with a different producer on this one uh, pete oh, brown right. um so he's sort of given some new angles to what we've done and we've really worked on the harmonies and a lot of different sort of uh, textures of different instruments in this, this album as well so it's the best one it's the best yes what 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 would you say makes this one stand out from? Is it because it's new material for you then, Den, and everything? Is it's just you know it's it, is it or do you you feel in your heart that this is this is going to be like the vibe? Yeah, the whole vibe, the whole recording, the whole the, the songs, the way we've worked together with Pete, and it's just a, just a real cool it feels really you know organic and you know how, how it was written basically. It just feels good. It feels it's time, you know. You know the way we record is the way we've always recorded. You know we play live and and get the tracks down. You know in essence, you know in, a, in the live room and then sort of overdub stuff. I know that's di it's different nowadays for other bands. And when we came back to it, hearing that people kind of overdub drums and do all sorts of weird stuff, but we kind of do it in a traditional way really. Still and um, yeah, we spent a lot of time on vocal harmonies and, and guitar parts and you know it's, yeah it's, it's it's been it was a great experience working with a you know, great producer and um, you know, he's got the best out of us, you know, it was hard work and you know, sort of tough at times, but uh, yeah, it's definitely our best work today, we feel, you know, hopefully the fans will feel the same, yeah, <laughs> hopefully people will like it, yeah. But um, for anybody then that wants to, uh, that wants to get anything, uh, 
and find out any up to date. You, you're quite active on social media and everything like that. So it's Facebook, Last Great Dreamers, is it on Facebook? Yes, Facebook. Yeah. Uh, what else are we on? Twitter, Instagram, uh, <laughs> YouTube. It's all down here. I can see it now. <laughs> yeah. You know, people can get onto the, our website and leave their mailing details as well, so we keep in touch through email and all that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, we just do what we can to, to 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 build it and get in touch with people and keep in touch. But I think Facebook's probably the big, the biggest thing for us, really. You know, yeah. Dan still writes what ten letters a week, personally. Yes, pen pals. I've got lots of pen pals around the country. <laughs> Send out hundreds and hundreds, but no one has got no back. No Please, somebody back. write back to this guy. <laughs> I'll write back to you, Dan. Okay, mate. No <laughs> Probably be quicker for you to drive down and give it to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, in this day and age, with with like you said, you know, like uh, I'd say, eighty percent of the music industry is crowdfunded in the, the, this day and age. Um, I think it's very important with social media to be. Uh, interactive with your fans, and it, I mean, it, it seems to be the way for you need to do. That needs to be part of being a successful artist this yeah. day and age to be sort of interactive with. Oh, with, do you agree? Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. I mean, it, there's no other way now. So, um, you kind of got to get on board with it. And I think we have embraced it. I mean, I'm a little bit behind you guys, but um, well, we're always out having a chat and stuff. You know, whenever whenever we play, we're always out straight out. And we always have done that. We've always been quite accessible, you know. And I think now this time around. I think we value it more. Value the f not that we didn't value the fans before, but I think now we realise how important it is, and yeah. you know, and especially do it when you do the pledge music thing. You know, to get people giving you their hard-earned cash for us to make a record is, you know, is quite, you know, humbling. So it's, yeah. you know, you owe it to them. But yeah, it's, it's it's important, and yeah, I think maybe before, you know, when we were in our twenties, now we maybe took it for granted a bit, but yeah. now we, you know, we certainly don't. You know, you realise that it's. We wouldn't do this with it without most people, you know. I bet, like most bands have told me, I bet you have some sort of fans, and you think, "Oh my God, you've just pledged that." Like some fans said, they put ridiculous pledges up, thinking no one will pledge for it, and people do. Like, I mean, I bet it's been the same for you guys on this. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's just unbelievable what yeah. people will do, you know. That uh, yeah, <laughs> can't, can't stop pleasure. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, I think it's great, and it, it's great to see you guys, you know, carrying on classic sort of good time rock and roll out there. I mean, like you said, you, you want to get off because I know you want to go and watch the Choir Boys. Likewise, as well, you, you you're not a mil you, you mean the, the friends of yours. You've been on tour with them, uh, and the music isn't a million miles away from from each other's bands. Like, and it's all good time rock and roll. So. As I say, anybody that hasn't checked the band out, please go to the Facebook page, give them a like. Go on YouTube, check some of the videos out that they've got, uh, or go on Twitter, follow them. They might be playing near you. Uh, guys, I just want to thank you for ending the festival, and uh, we can all have a shot of rum in a minute. We got yes. some, we got some clove and hoof rum, so we're all, uh, deadly miss it, and we're gonna, we're gonna have a, sh we're gonna have a shot of that. Yeah. So I just want to say thanks, guys, and wish you all the very best for the rest of the year. Thank you and uh, you're welcome you're very welcome and once again this is alistair from underkill tv signing out with the last great demons and signing out from hard rock out cheers guys thanks a lot you know it's time to face this world oh yeah when you're feeling all alone up in smoke up in smoke this old world's going up in smoke you Can't stay out of trouble You got nothing else to do And it's hard to